Hello everyone, what's up and welcome back to another video on my channel. Chances are if you clicked on today's video then you are a figure skater yourself or maybe you are just interested in kind of understanding the whole audition process as a figure skater. So today I wanted to give you guys 15 tips on how to land a professional skating job. If you are new here, my name is Jordan, I am 24 years old and I work for Willie B Tech Productions and also Royal Caribbean. So I am currently home but I am about to head to my third contract on board Voyager of the Seas and I have been working for the company since 2019. I'm sure that everyone has a ton of different techniques that will work to land a professional skating job but I'm just speaking on my behalf and my experience. So I wanted to give you some tips and insight on what I did to get a contract and hopefully it will help some of you in the future if you are looking to start skating professionally. If you are not already subscribed, consider doing so. I have so many life at sea vlogs or ship content. So uh, there's a lot of fun stuff on my channel and much, much more to come. So. Uh, yeah, stick around for that. Otherwise, let's get on into it. The process of auditioning for a figure skater is very, very different than that of a dancer or a singer, for example. Some companies do have live in-person auditions and other companies don't even have that. I do know for the auditions that are live, you do have to send an email with an audition tape beforehand. So first things first, you need an audition tape. Your audition tape is going to include all of your best elements and it's going to highlight you as a skater. It is going to be the first thing the company sees from you. So you wanna make a really good impression and grab their attention. That being said, my first tip for your audition tape is to hire a professional videographer to film and edit it. Yes, videographer can get a little bit pricey but I promise you it is totally worth the money it is worth investing into a high quality video because it's going to look very professional and the company will already be impressed that you have a well-produced video not to say that that is going to be the reason you get in but it definitely does help when the video you are sending is very clean and professional for your audition tape you are going to want to wear a very basic outfit so I definitely recommend wearing an all black outfit so nothing super baggy or loose I don't recommend showing a lot of skin like midriff to have a sleeveless top is fine but I would say opt away from showing your stomach or wearing like a crop top what I wore for my audition tape was black leggings with a matching black sports top so I tucked it into the leggings so everything was very form-fitting that way the company and the person hiring me could see what my body looked like on the ice what kind of shape it was what size I was and so on and so forth I think this makes a really big difference because if you're wearing like a really wild print don't get me wrong I love fun colors and prints and things like that but for the sake of the audition, I'd say stick with black. Also speaking on appearance, my third tip is to have your hair and your makeup done for this video. For my video, I straightened my hair and I did somewhere in between a everyday makeup and a show makeup. I didn't want to put too much makeup on, but I also didn't want to not be wearing anything. So I kind of found a happy medium there and I felt like straight hair was the best bet for me just because I could wear it down in some parts and then I can also put it up and it'll look really nice and put together. Before anyone says anything, I just want to throw it out there. I understand that looks aren't everything. Of course, there is much more to a person than their appearance, but this is a huge part of the job. You have to present yourself in a really positive way way so the more professional you look the better of course your skating is most important but a company will more likely hire someone who looks very professional and put together than someone who looks like they missed their alarm and rolled out of bed late 
Now I want to get into how we're going to create the audition video. So in my opinion, the best way to start off your audition tape is with a very short introduction. So you're going to want to sit with the camera or stand with the camera and talk a little bit about yourself and a few of your accomplishments. This doesn't need to be a super long intro because you want to, of course, get into the skating and let the skating speak for itself. But it is nice to open up the video with a little introduction so they can kind of get to know you and see what you look like up close. The next thing I highly recommend is to create a show program, whether it's something that you want to make up or maybe you can revise an old program you already have from competition and add that in to the audition video. So you're going to want to take this in one take. You don't want to have so many cuts and splices. You want to make sure that they know that you can run an entire program without stopping or without a mistake. So this might take a few tries or it might take one try depending, but but the most important thing is to have a full program with no stops that highlights some of your best jumps, spins, uh, skating skills, and of course you should be showing your facial expressions throughout the entire program. After you've done this program, the next section of your audition tape should be elements. So I would run through quite a few elements. It's better to have more than not enough. You can always cut some out once you are in the editing process. So I started with jumps. I went through all my doubles, double axle, and then I went through my spins. So I did a few different spins, some basic spins, some combination spins, butterflies, things like that. And then after spins, I did show tricks. So any kind of fun tricks that you have that aren't jumps or spins, I would definitely include those because those are super useful for shows such as butterfly, stars, spread eagle, Ina Bauer, any beautiful spirals you might have, a wind up spiral, like there's so many different things that you can do, but quality over quantity, I would not recommend putting in elements that are not super strong for you because you wanna put your best foot forward. Tip number seven is all about music. Of course, when you're running your program within this video, you can use that music, but as far as the elements are concerned, when you are showing your jumps and spins and skating skills, I would use something that is not super loud and not distracting. So I would recommend using an instrumental piece, maybe like a classical piece, just so that they are not distracted by the music when they're trying to watch your skating. And also I think that words can be a little bit tricky or distracting, so I would just recommend something soft, very quiet, and maybe instrumental. My eighth tip goes without saying, but I feel like it still needs to be mentioned. Make sure you are smiling through the entire video. You want to have the biggest smile on your face throughout your program and throughout every single element you are doing, even stroking. This is absolutely crucial. Tip number nine, I would end off the video with some stroking exercises or edging just so that they can see how you skate, just your skating skills, if you were able to change edges, and basically how you carry and present yourself. Tip number 10, to finish the video, I would definitely recommend having a screen that has a photo of you as well as your name and your contact information. So your email and your phone number. This is super important because this is the absolute last thing that they see. So it's great if you have your intro and your name at the beginning of the video, but when they finish the video, they don't wanna have to go back to that. So if it is right at the end for them, they can write it down or make note of it, which is very, very important. Tip number 11, I recommend that your audition video is no longer than 10 minutes long. I feel like any more than 10 minutes is going to be too long for them. They might lose interest. And in my opinion, that is just too much. 10 minutes is more than enough for the company to see your skating and make a solid decision on whether or not they will give you a callback. Number 12, I would attach this video file, once it's edited, of course, to an email to whoever you are sending it to. And along with this video, you should also have a PDF file of a resume. This resume should be less about academics and more about your skating accomplishments because you are applying for a skating position. So it is of course nice to put in that you have high school or college degree, whatever you might have, 
but the majority of the resume should be about your accomplishments. At the bottom, you can also add a tiny section for extracurriculars, just so they see that you have been able to manage your time well while skating at a very high, high level. Another tip that should go without saying, but is extremely important, is to speak clearly and slowly when you are filming your video. So for your little introduction at the beginning, you wanna make sure that you are taking your time when you're speaking and that they can hear everything you're saying very clearly. So if you need a microphone, that might be beneficial. I use like a little mic on my um, jacket. And I know I talk really, really fast when I'm filming YouTube videos, but for my audition tape, I really took my time. Number 14, I would recommend making this personal and maybe share why you want this job. I think that this goes a long way and it can really show your authenticity. And it's also an opportunity for you to show how much you love to skate by talking about it. And my 15th and final tip of this video is to just be yourself and use your strengths to your advantage. Because everyone has different strong suits, but it's how you use those. And you never wanna come off as you're trying to be someone else. Just embrace who you are and let that shine through on the camera. We have gone through all of the tips. I really hope that this video is informative and helpful for any of you who are looking to get into professional skating or are in the process of applying. I wish you the very best of luck and it is honestly the best job in the entire world and I am so lucky every single day that I can call this my job and it never even feels like work to me. If you guys have any other more questions regarding auditions and applying, please let me know. You can either DM me on Instagram or comment below. I would recommend commenting below because I don't always see all of my Instagram DMs, but I am more than happy to help you. I love you guys to the moon and back. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.